Hey guys, we know you love the last one about YouTubers, so now we are back with TikTokers. We are your host, Michaela. And I'm Andrew, so let's get right into this one with our top 10 chilling final TikToks. At our number 10 spot, we have Zach Latham. This young TikToker was formerly dubbed as the kid who killed for clout. Whether it be for clout or for pure violence, what he did was truly tragic. The story was that Zach was having many issues with his neighbors due to driving recklessly around the neighborhood. A viral video went out of one of his neighbors arguing with him inside of his car. In the video, he appears to call her Karen many, many times, and we all know what a Karen is, so I don't have to explain it here. What are you gonna do, Karen? That's not my name, so get my name straight. Go ahead. I'll you okay, Karen? Tag. Go ahead, get my tag. Get my tag, Karen. My name is not Karen, so get my name straight. Get my tag, it's okay. All because my car is loud. Three cop cars. Right after the argument, Zach allegedly drove the car into her son's bike, which almost ran him over. The son's dad, William Durham Sr., would confront Zach at his own home and enraged of what he did to his son. Zach's wife was there recording the whole thing on TikTok. And yes, he had a wife at 18 years old. After a heated argument, the two would get into a physical altercation where Zach would stab William in the armpit, puncture his lung, causing him to pass away. The reason why many people believe he did it for clout was because his wife was recording it, but I think this was a little bit of a case of a kid just going a little bit in the head, and guess what? He's in jail now. Now at number nine, Chow Kiyome. Chow was a TikToker who would post normal videos about what she was doing that day or dancing videos. And she was also a crane operator. One day she was live streaming on TikTok while inside the crane and accidentally misstepped and her and her phone ended up falling 160 feet out of the air, where she then passed away due to the fall. At our number eight spot, we have Cassie Compton. God, somebody pray for her. Okay. Somebody pray for her. Please. Oh my. God. Uh, <laughs> In January 2021, a TikTok video went viral showing a woman in the backseat of a car full of guys which appeared to have two black eyes looking directly at the camera almost as if she was asking for help. They had thought this was a girl who was named Cassie Compton who had gone missing, but these two were in fact different people. The woman in the video is actually named Haley Grace Phillips and she was missing, but her reason was that she was recently robbed by a group of women and the people in her car were her friends helping her find them. Now she has since disabled her account, which only adds to the mystery of what truly happened to this girl. Now at number seven, Jin Kid. Jin Kid was a very big TikToker who almost had a million followers and he posted comedic impressions. But in October of 2021, he was arrested after police found his wife and her friend's body in his apartment. He shot his wife once and her friend three times. Her and her friend were actually in a relationship and it was confirmed she had an affair. However, her and Jin Kid broke up weeks prior to the incident, but he was still mad and he said that's why he did what he did. This was the last video he ever posted just hours before the crime. All right, so what do you call yourself, tough guy, huh? Como se llama? Antonio Montana. And you? What'd you call yourself? Listen, buddy, I'm the only one that asks questions around here, pal. God. Jen Kidd is currently being held in prison without bail. Yeah. <laughs> yalla, yalla. Yalla. <laughs> Wait, let's try the Scarface one. Okay. At our number six spot, we have Randall Nautica. So TikTok has been going crazy over this app called Randall Nautica. The theory is that it's based on quantum energy. So to play, you're supposed to download it and manifest something specific, something like about money or the love of your life, something like that. Then you wait for the app to send you coordinates of a location. A group of teenagers in Seattle did this and ended up finding a suitcase containing human remains near a shoreline. It shows the group stumbling upon a small black suitcase. They initially think it's filled with money since they manifested it. Curious as to what's inside, one girl opens the top and lifts it from a distance using a wooden stick, revealing a black plastic bag filled with something. Guys, we found a, a suitcase at the beach. Gabby, go. I'll hold your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, wait, open it. <laughs> open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. It washed up. It's oh! <gasps> oh! Okay so, she made okay, so she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. As soon as she opened it, the smell was overwhelming. 
They then called the police and the next clip showed police and fire trucks surrounding the beach. Seattle police later confirmed the contents inside of the suitcase were in fact human remains and said investigators had found several other bags in the area also with body parts. Right in the hump of our list we have Bethany Martin. This case went viral so you might know about this one if you're on TikTok a lot. The story goes that on July 28th in San Antonio, Texas, Bethany Martin and her minor friend saw someone who had taken their own life hanging from a drainage ditch. A pretty horrific sight and any regular person would report it immediately. Right? Instead of calling the police, one of the teams actually filmed the body and even stole the necklace that was attached to it. I know, it's even so crazy to imagine this type of thing. They then posted on Snapchat, in which for obvious reasons can't be shown in this video. But they also took it to TikTok to post about the incident. Just seems like natural selection. Like, why would anyone record a crime when it will be used for evidence in the future? I don't get it. Now at number four, Kalisha Williams. Kalisha was a young teen who would often post TikToks dancing to songs. In 2020, 16 year old Kalisha had been invited to an Airbnb by her friends for a party. Her parents had talked to the mother of the party and confirmed she was there to supervise everything. So Kalisha's parents thought it was okay. That night around 12 a.m., she started to make a TikTok dancing to a song. That TikTok was, in fact, her last. She had started recording and then halfway she stopped recording when someone entered her room. Thirty minutes later she was being carried out of her room by her friends after her friends heard shots coming from her room. She was then taken to a hospital where the doctors tried to revive her but they were unsuccessful and she passed away due to a GSW. Now coming in at number three, Claire Miller. Claire Miller was a 14 year old small TikToker who would post seemingly normal videos. This was the last video she ever posted. After posting it, she took her sister's life. Her sister had a condition called cerebral palsy and she would often go with her to her doctor's appointments and step by her during difficult times. But one night in February 2021, things took a turn for the worse. The whole family went to sleep like normal and then around 1am, Claire took a knife into her sister Helen's room and proceeded to take her life. Claire then covered her sister's face with a pillow and called the police sounding frantic confessing what she did. On February 22nd, 2021, Claire was then arrested and charged with homicide. All the way at our number two spot, we have the 144 video. This video wasn't uploaded by the maker, but you'll see why. Instead, this video circulated all over TikTok. This 2019 video showed a Russian teenager named Gleb Korablov. Gleb was sitting on the couch when he then said a quote and then took his own life using a semi-automatic rifle. An explanation for the video surfaced on 4chan saying, quote, according to a friend, the young man decided to take his own life after a quarrel with his girlfriend on the basis of jealousy. Before he passed away, he said a quote directed to his girlfriend and was translated to quote, Nikita, if you tell my parents about this too quickly, I'll get you from beyond the grave. I know you have their phone number. Now coming in at number one, Cooper Norija. Cooper Norija was a 19 year old social media star with over 1.8 million followers on TikTok. He joined the app in 2019 and built his following with comedy, skateboarding and lip syncing videos. Cooper's last TikTok was this video which has since been deleted. This video he posted was talking about how he felt how he wouldn't live very long and that he would pass away young. 20 hours after posting that video, Cooper did unfortunately pass. Cooper was known for struggling with his mental health and a bit before he passed, he even posted a video talking about mental health. He'd also once said, quote, I've been struggling with addiction since I was nine years old. You might think that's crazy, but that's the life I've been dealt. Law enforcement officers found Cooper unconscious after people who passed by made a 911 call. A medical examiner had said, quote, that after an autopsy, a cause of death has not been determined. And that's everything on the top 10 scary urban legends for today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you next time. Peace.